Today we're going to cover the final section of um, the putting an end to fake love series. And I think because this is going to be kind of short, I'll just, we'll maybe go into a little bit of housekeeping here. Uh, you know, for those of you that have been kind of following uh, my ministry for the last few years, you're kind of wondering who this bozo is that you're following. Um, just so you know, like like the books and things that I do, um, anything else, I mean, I, I everything I, I sell to you is not at all for money. Um, I don't make any kind of profit on any of this. Matter of fact, this is what I do for a living. I'm an airbrush artist and I substitute teach in our high school locally and all that stuff. So, um, you know, just to give you a little bit of a background of who I am, I am also an ordained minister um, independently. And I, uh, you know, spent many years studying theology and a lifetime getting to know God and whatnot. So, just to give you a little bit of a background on myself. And just to one more time show you, um, this series I made this, it's called the Get Real Journal to go along with um, our pursuing the love of God is what we're doing. It's, we're trying to learn how to love people the way Jesus loved people, which in this day and age just seems to get harder and harder every day. Um, and I kind of went over this, what, what I'll have in this book uh, last time for you, but um, just to show you, I'm going to put on the website the actual journal page for you in case the book is only $6 and, and if you get it from me in person, it's only 5 bucks. Um, but if you don't want to take the time to order it or, or it's too much money for you, for free, I'm going to put on, on the website um, these pages for you to just download and print off on your own, which... But depending upon how many you want to print off, it might cost you more than it does to just get the book. But um, And then it'll help you to practice what we're talking about in this series. So, um, And also in the book, you know, it, it kind of recaps all the, the messages I've been giving you. Um, and had, there's some extra stuff in it too, and Bible verses, and, and just a lot of extra things in here. And step-by-step, step, it's, it's a step-by-step step process for you to learn to love more so that's essentially uh, all we need to cover on that okay with that let's just get right into it today we're going to talk about finding inner utopia so consider this why do people desire to have children or if you don't have children why do you desire to have pets or anything like that the only right and good answer is to have someone to love and to bless and to enjoy right so think about it, why did God create us? I think we're created, um, in, you know, he said we are created in his image, right? So therefore, since we're created in his image, we have all the similar and sameness of God to some extent. So I think it's kind of a no-brainer to figure out that he created us to have someone to love and to bless and to enjoy. Just the same reason that we create our own children, so to speak. So to truly have life, of course, is to love. And now consider the opposite. If you do not love God and people around you, then we are promised total death. So I want to share with you a story. Um, several years ago, you know, I, I finally, it finally dawned on me after years of studying theology and just, you know, kind of getting a real big head about it and the arrogance, I guess, that people get when they get new knowledge on things. Um, you know, I finally understood that uh, studying God in the Bible and filling my head with knowledge was completely useless unless it led me to being able to love God more and to love others, which is the true essence, the true, you know, and the power of God. This is what God is, is love. Last night I dreamt that somebody loved me. So, I mean, this idea is simple enough, of course, but it's so hard to do. Loving a perfect God, of course, is, you know, fairly easy to do the more we get to know him. But loving sinful, imperfect people is really hard. And not only that, we are powerless to do it by our effort alone. So one day, you know, I, 
I ask God to help me to understand what it really is to see people through Jesus' eyes. Um, to truly love humanity with the love of the Lord. And what I experienced for a brief few seconds sitting in my truck at the intersection here in town um, was just absolute ecstasy. It was so cool. You know, God allowed me for just a few seconds to experience the utopia of truly loving people the way he loves people. And, you know, it was kind of like, it felt like getting the gas mask at the dentist's office. You know, I felt lighter than air because for a few seconds, God removed from me all of the yuckiness that weighs me down. You know, things like pride and judgment and irritation, arrogance, anger, conflict. You know, for a few moments, all I saw was that spark of glowing light inside of other drivers at the intersection and you know their godly potential rather than their present condition and what this was is just I saw I guess I'd have to say I saw people's souls the way Jesus saw them um, and then of course after a few seconds you know the euphoria was kind of gone and and now I'm left knowing that what I experienced was the holy grail so to speak I know what my true quest is in this life and that is to to chase after that perfect godly love that I experienced on that day to just get closer and closer to getting that back the ability to just freely love people um, you know the, and the closer we get to it the more we the more we possess this real love in our hearts for God and for humanity the closer we are to truly living in God's kingdom or you know God's utopia or heaven or perfection or whatever you want to call it and you know we can get closer to this here on earth you know it isn't just something that that we wait for in the end I mean this is something that we can partially attain while we're living here on this earth you know we know this world will never reach utopia no matter how hard we try without God's perfect love and this perfection will never be completed until Jesus returns and you know destroys Satan and his influence on us here on the you know here on this earth but if we persistently ask the Holy Spirit and desire God's you know love euphoria like I was telling you about and what I call my holy grail he will increase the love in our lives you know little by little each day blessing our lives and the lives of others through us so this is the final exercise I have for you in this series this is the real live exercise real love <laughs> exercise number three ask God every day to help you to love more to love him more and for the ability to love all people for real not just the easy ones you know we talked about learning to love those people that are kind of a thorn in our side in life you know, you need, we need to pray every day for God to send His Holy Spirit to change our hearts to be more like Jesus. So that's pretty much it for this series. Um, as I told you before, this is the absolute most important thing about, you know, I mean, if we want to say religion, there is. I mean, you can throw out everything else you know and just focus on this. This is the most important part that Jesus brought to us. I mean, aside from loving Jesus and believing John 3 16 he died for our sins and we're saved this is what Jesus came for so I really hope you all take this very seriously um, if you're interested in getting the book it's available at lulu.com um, and also I think on amazon.com as well so I'll leave the link for you at the end here um, if you want to download the free journal page go to the website crew Corvus weekly asylum Thank you much. God bless you guys. I hope you take this seriously. Pursue love in your life and loving others. And I'll catch up with you next time. The story is over.